I want to first of all bring greetings to all the viewers in the Queens area in particular and the New York area in general. On this occasion, the second death anniversary of our late beloved president, Dr. Shetty Jagan. Spotlight Television, I am told, is associated with the Association of Concerned Guyanese in New York and the U.S. New York Businessmen Association, a grouping of Guyanese business people, to observe the second anniversary of the death of Dr. Jagan. Of course, this year will not be one of commemorating or mourning the passing of our beloved leader. It is in fact a celebration of his life and his work. There is much today that Guyana needs from the example of Dr. Jagan, a man who would put his country above himself and who had charted the vision for the destiny of a united and prosperous nation. Today, when Guyana is caught up in internal turmoil, we must rise above our differences and rise above our circumstances, as Dr. Jagan has taught us to do. He had always been like the biblical Moses, who in the most difficult of times would invite us all to the mountain top to look at the burning bush of new ideas. And so the second anniversary of his death has seen us missing him more because his ideas had become for the nation a beacon of hope, the lighthouse in the perilous sea of difficult times that would lead us forward. In celebrating the life of Dr. Jagan, we must celebrate the example of his incorruptibility. We must celebrate the example of his determination. He was the man who led us against British colonialism for the political independence of our country. He was the leader who led us when things went the wrong way to recover and to recapture and restore democracy. He was the first freely elected president of the Republic of Guyana who laid the foundation for the prosperity which this nation has been enjoying since 1992. Guyana has come through the most difficult period of its history, a struggle against slavery, a struggle against indentureship, struggle against colonialism, and now we have flowered and blossom into one nation with six races, but yet one people charting our way forward at a time when the world is caught up in crises, at a time when nations are grappling to find their way forward. We are still making it. We are back on track. Everywhere there is the indice of development. Everywhere there is the indice of growth. This is a country that is moving forward. And in celebrating Dr. Jagan's life, we should be eternally grateful to him that he has laid this foundation for a solid economy, for a solid democracy, and for a united people. On this occasion, I want all our Guyanese compatriot, all our Caribbean brothers and sisters, for whom Dr. Jagan also was an icon of honesty and dedication, that we remember him and we remember the man, the measure of the man who was not only a Guyanese man, he was a Caribbean man, he was a world man, and that we should try to fulfill his hopes and his dream for world peace, for the Caribbean becoming a zone of peace, and non-confrontation, and for Guyana to become the haven for all of our peoples.